stars are Steve Lawrence and Sally Struthers. Thank you. We got a big show for you, so don't go away. We'll be right back. I don't want to hear it anymore. <laughs> hey, how about you, friend? Would you like to hear the story about how I once knew Eddie Scarlett? No. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it all started back in the year 1920. The Doughboys had just got home from putting a kibosh on the Kaiser. I met Eddie when him and his pal Law Books just got back from France. And I fell for Eddie like a ton of bricks. I don't know what it was about him. there was about Eddie. Uh, something special. Maybe it was his looks. Maybe his personality. Or maybe it was because he did a swell Jimmy Cagney impression. <laughs> anyway, Eddie and me teamed up, and before you could say prohibition is for the birds, we controlled all the liquor business on the east side. Eddie sold the stuff, but uh, he never touched it. Hey, Eddie! I got your drink for you, baby. There you go. <laughs> How you feeling, Eddie? I ain't been this happy since the day I got a fan letter from Al Capone. Yeah? Yeah, my buddy Law Books, he graduated today. Mm. No kidding. Well, here he is now. Yeah. Hey, Joe Collins. Hey, hi. Oh, Eddie, I want to thank you for paying for my education with your cheap, crooked money. Yeah, forget it, kid, forget it. Sit down, take a load off. Hey, thanks. Mm. Hey, listen. In law books, now that you graduated from law school, you can handle all of Eddie's legal business, huh? Mm. You must be joking. I'm going to become a crusading district attorney and bring all vicious criminals to justice. Nothing personal, Eddie. Hey, wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You mean you'd prosecute Eddie, the man who sent you through law school and also bought you your suit for the senior prom? I studied law, not loyalty. You low-down, stinking rat! Think rotten, stinking rat. You seem upset. <laughs> yeah, take it easy, Havana. Take it easy. Take it easy. Mm. I can have law books here working for me by just saying four words. <laughs> I can't think of four words that would make me change my mind. Ten grand a year, huh? Mm, mm, mm. It's funny how you could think of them and I couldn't. <laughs> what do you want me to do, Eddie? Plenty, kid, plenty. We're expanding. Hey, how can we expand unless you make a deal with the big boss, Bogey? <laughs> <laughs> I already did. You did? Yeah. I saw Bogey this afternoon. Yeah? Yeah. I said to him, mm, mm hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, if it ain't my old friend, Bogey. Yeah, and what'd he say? 
Hello, sweetheart. If it ain't Eddie Scarlett. Yeah, what'd you say? I said, listen, Bogey, mm, me and you, maybe we can make a deal, huh? Mm. Yeah, and what'd he say? He said, okay, sweetheart, we're partners. Huh? What do you think, huh? Oh, mm? gee, I think that's swell, uh -huh. Eddie. Hey, Eddie, now that we're gonna be on Easy Street, don't you think maybe it might be time that you and me tied the knot? Married? Yeah. Married? Are you nuts, huh? Well, why not, Eddie? It's about time you did something legal. <laughs> Come on, Eddie, what do you say, huh? Eh, uh, okay, Havana, not only did you make yourself a deal, you got yourself a husband, huh? Oh, mm -hmm. Eddie, that's mm -hmm. swell! Oh, here, here, I even got the ring. I stole it off a customer. Now you can make it official. Eh, uh, <gasps> what'd you do, mug a Bobby doll, huh? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, oh, that's okay. I'd rather have a broken finger than a broken heart any day. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, Eddie. Eddie, you made me the happiest broad in the world. I'm so proud I could bust a gut. Nothing could ever come between us. <laughs> Gee, what's a uh, swell-looking broad like you doing in a joint like this, huh? Mm? Well, I'm a chanteuse. You're a what? Uh, Singer of songs. Uh -huh. mm. Yes, and I'd like to be the star of the show here, and I hear that you have a lot of pull with that Miss Havana person, and I was wondering whether you'd ask her if she would let me sing. Havana, I'm asking. Oh, Eddie, I can't give a break to a... What's your name, honey? Priscilla, Priscilla Sheridan. Priscilla, okay, come on. Uh, hey, folks, I want you all should give a big hot box Havana hand to this Priscilla Sheridan. <laughs> yeah. Here they. <clears throat> Come to me, my melancholy babe. Tears are foolish, fancy, maybe. You know, dear, I'm in love with you. away each tear or else I shall be melancholy too yeah. How about a little applause for the little lady, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're terrific, kid. You got yourself a job. Huh? You, law books, take Priscilla here over to the bar there and do something collegiate, all right? Me and Havana, we got things to talk about. Mm. Uh, I'll have a Shirley Temple. Oh, Eddie, mm. I love you so much. And I love you too, kid. That's why I want you to be the maid of honor at our wedding, eh? <laughs> Twenty-sixth. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now I'm coming to the best part of the story. You see, nothing much happened in the next three years. Eddie fell in love with Priscilla, who was in love with law books, who was in love with Priscilla, who wasn't in love with Eddie, who thought Priscilla was in love with him, but she wasn't. And I was. You get it? Good. Anyway, I just hung around carrying my torch and losing my feathers till 1929 because I knew, see, I knew that one day Eddie would come to his senses. Let's land it, land it, send it, roll it. Mmm, Havana, take a gander at this. What? Huh? What do you think? Well, it's swell, only I don't think you should wear it without earrings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not for me, Havana. Yeah? Havana, what would you do if I gave you this necklace, huh? Mm? Anything you want, and twice on Sundays. Havana, what would you say if after I gave you the necklace, I asked you to marry me, huh? Oh, you big 
big luck, you know what I'd say. <laughs> oh, you may be the happiest broad in the world. Havana, huh? you know Dame's pretty good. Sure. You think Priscilla would say the same thing, huh? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, who is it? It's me, Eddie. Oh, oh, just a minute. You've got to tell him. Okay, 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 Justin. I'll break the cheap little rat's heart. Well. <gasps> Come in, Edward. Mm. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. It's for you. It's an engagement present. Oh, oh, then you know about me and Justin. <laughs> you, you and Lobux? Well, what are you talking about, huh? Mm. Well, we're in love and we're going to be married. You, uh, you trying to tell me something, huh? Mm. It's nothing personal, Eddie. It's just that you're scum. <laughs> So it's been you and law books here all along, huh? I've been a first-class chump, huh? And you, 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 dirty rat, I trusted you. Well, tough Roccos. <laughs> <laughs> well, what does that prove other than the fact that you've broken section 17 of the criminal code? And three teeth? Yeah, I'm sorry, law books. I'm sorry, I'm real sorry. You're right, you're right. I shouldn't have done that. What I should have done was this, eh? Oh, Priscilla, talk to him. Oh, Edward, if you kill him, does that mean that I have to give this back? I don't mean that. Oh, how about this? Edward, please don't kill him. That's better. You can keep the necklace as a wedding present, huh? Oh. Mm. See you around, don't you? Eddie! How come she gets a present and I don't? <laughs> mm. 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 Congratulations in order? Yeah, sure. For Priscilla and law books. You're kidding me. Oh, Eddie. Eddie, maybe it's a blessing in disguise. Eddie, I know how it hurts when somebody you love throws you over, but... But, Eddie, now we can have it like we used to. It'll be you and me, Eddie. In a cottage small by a waterfall. With duckies and cows and chickens. Oh, Eddie, you'd have a woman who loves you. No matter how dirty cut you are. What do you say? No, Eddie, don't do that. That stuff's no good for you. Take your hands off that, Havana. Before I break your fingers, take it off. Take it off. Eddie! <laughs> hey. Hey, this stuff's pretty good. I don't think I've been charging enough. Waiter, bring me a case of this and a box of straws, huh? <laughs> What's the difference? I got nothing to live for. You got me, Eddie. Yeah, I got nothing to live for. <laughs> goodbye, duckies. And it was goodbye, Eddie Scarlet. He became a drunkard, and pretty soon he dropped out of sight. <laughs> That's the whole story. I never saw him again. Well, it was nice talking to you. Well. Hey, what? Wait a minute. You mean that, that's the end of the story? Well, yeah, that's the end of the story. If it was a good story, you think I'd need a gun? Maybe. You're some kind of a fruitcake. <laughs> Give me a bottle of booze and a straw. Hey, hey, buddy, you want to hear this story about how I once knew? Eddie? Havana? Yeah. Havana? Yeah. Is it really you, Havana? Yeah, Eddie, it's me, Havana. Oh, Havana. Oh, Eddie, Eddie, you... Gosh, you... you look swell. Oh, yeah. You look terrific. Oh. Best you looked in years, Havana. Gosh, I... I sure miss you all these years, Eddie. Yeah. 
I miss you too, Havana. <laughs> Havana, is it too late to ask you a question? Oh, you big lug, you know you can ask me anything. Okay. How's Priscilla, huh? <laughs> oh, Priscilla. Oh, her and Law Books, they got this big house over on Long Island. They got seven kids and four dogs, three cats, two parakeets, and a pet rat named Daddy. <laughs> In that case, what do you say me and you get married, huh? Eddie, you made me the happiest broad in the world. Oh, Eddie, I could bust another gut. Nothing will ever come between us again, Eddie. Oh, Havana. <laughs> Priscilla. Edward. Oh, Edward, Edward. You've just got to help my Justin. You see, he's running for governor on an anti-crime platform, and he's going to expose Bogey and send him to the chair. And for some reason, Bogey has taken that personally and threatened to kill me. So you must help us. Eddie, don't let him do Put this. Let, Put let, let, <laughs> so you, uh... You really named your pet rat after me, huh? Yes. Mm. <laughs> That's class, kid. That's class. Real class. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll go talk to Bogey for you. Hey, uh, you got a gun I could use, huh? Well, sure I have a gun. But do you think I'd give a gun to a hoodlum like you? Yeah, but if I, uh, if I go without a gun, I, I might get knocked off. Well, tough Rocco's. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Hey, Eddie. Eddie, mm. here. Take my gun. Thanks, Savannah. Your aces. <laughs> You put a dangerous weapon into the hands of a mad dog killer. Oh, hush up. It's all right. It ain't got no bullets. No, no bullets? bullets. <laughs> I went to see Bogey, see? Yeah. I said, Bogey, I said, I want you to lay off of my pal, see? Yeah, and what'd he say? He said, I'm gonna kill all books. I'm also gonna kill you, so you better start running, see? And what'd you say? Then I said, take this, you dirty rat. Click, click. <laughs> That's when I found out that the gun you gave me was empty, you know? Yeah, I'm sorry. That's okay. Uh, where was I? Click, click. Yeah, yeah, click, click. Well, you know I could run fast, Havana. Yeah. But I could never run faster than them bullets, you know that? Yeah. After that, he didn't say very much. He just started shooting. You know, he went, yeah. bang, bang, oh, bang. Oh, yeah, that's when I bang, saw you. Bang, yeah. bang. Remember then I got hit yeah, over here. You went bang, up the stairs. Bang, 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 b
Reggie, boom, boom. <laughs> boom, bang, B. Bang. Eddie? Yeah. Eddie? Yeah. Say something. Rosebud. <laughs> Who was he? Who was he? Huh. Who was he? He was a big shot. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but it's a, it's a long story. Well, lady, I don't hey, have... maybe I should tell it to you over a drink at Murphy's, okay? Well, I don't have time for sure. a long story. I think you do. You see, it all started back in 1920. <laughs> 